What's up, Buttercups? It's me, Amy Young. I'm coming at you with a Friday Freestyle. And another life lesson that I acquired in my time at the S-Bucks when I was a barista in the green apron. I remember it like it was yesterday. Um, it was in my last week at Starbucks that I truly learned the meaning of the words live each day as if it was your last. Because I think we've all heard that before or had like someone tell us that or like read it on a magnet or a bumper sticker and been like, great idea, a little hard to implement. Um, I remember in my last week at Starbucks, um, I gave the fewest volume of fucks a person could ever give. Like, especially for someone like me, who I've talked about this before, like, God damn, I'm just a great, I'm a great employee. Like, I follow rules, I work really hard, I like doing things right, I like being chipper and friendly and warm and welcoming. Um, I was a good friggin' barista. I, I put a lot of pressure on myself to do a good job there, even when I was like, this is only temporary. I was like, I'm bringing my A-game every day, except for my last week, when I knew <laughs> that each of these days was slowly but steadily leading me to my last day as a barista. And what I loved about that experience was that things that would normally bother me, like asshole customers, or drama with coworkers, or scalding myself with hot coffee, or someone complaining this cappuccino isn't dry enough, and I'm like, get a real problem, please. Um, I, every single time I experienced a moment like that, I was like, this is, your days are numbered here. This is not forever. <laughs> this is, this is not where you're gonna be in like 72 hours. You never have to come back here, Amy. You're quitting. This is awesome. Like, you could not bring me down. I felt so great because I knew that it was essentially, if not my last day, it was one of my last days. And I always thought that that phrase, that bumper sticker of like, live each day as if it was your last was saying like, savor the moments, treasure what you can, you know, like make the most of everything. And in my last week of working there, I realized that is not what that saying is about at all. That's not the advice that's in that saying. That saying is far more well applied to the sentiment of, who fucking cares? None of it really matters. Let this person be mad at you. Like, let your coworkers have the drama. Who gives a shit? Like, you're not gonna be here for that much longer. Which I found so much more comforting because if someone had said to me, like in that moment, some poor customer had been like, oh, you know, just like treasure these days that you have at Starbucks <laughs> in this last week, you know, cause you're gonna be gone. Like live each of these shifts as if it was your last and just treasure the ones. I would have been like, ha ha, hilarious concept. Cause I'm so ready to be out of here. But adopting this mindset, I didn't even like mean to, it just happened as a result of knowing I was gonna get to clock the fuck out for the last time of like, none of this really matters was the most liberating shit I had experienced. Um, in, in my life up until that point was like, this is none of this is of any consequence to me because I'm gonna walk out those doors and I never have to walk back if I don't want to. So why am I sharing this? It's because if you feel some pressure or if some people in your life are telling you to like savor these moments and make them really special, I want you to know that attempting to like savor things and keep them special, it's, it's kind of like holding a delicate butterfly and like crushing it slowly. And then you're like, oh, I ruined the butterfly. As opposed to holding the butterfly in your hand and being like, I don't know how long this is gonna last for. This is cool. <laughs> this is fine. I like this. Don't savor, don't crush, don't hold on, don't put pressure on yourself to live anything like it's your last. Just recognize this is only temporary because everything in life actually is. And if we really could, like, if we could adopt that mindset more often and realize None of this shit's gonna be this way forever, even when it feels like it's gonna be this way forever. A lot of the times we are so wrong, it frees us up to just, yeah, 
give fewer fucks or prioritize our fucks in a more appropriate manner and not take everything so GD seriously. Because when I wasn't in my last shift and some woman would come to me and be like, my cappuccino isn't dry enough, I would be like, not to her, <laughs> to her, I would be like, I'm so sorry. Ugh, it's not dry, I hate, I hate wet foam. Here, let me remake that for you. Um, Cause that's your job when you're in customer service. In my head, I would be like, this fucking lady, she is insulting my cappuccino making. This is unjust. I didn't go to college so I could remake this bitch's cappuccino. I'm gonna be in debt forever because I'm never gonna be able to make enough money at this stupid job. Like I would get caught up in these thoughts and these cycles and these patterns of upset, frustrated, principled thinking of like, this is unjust and I shouldn't have to deal with this. And when it was like my last shift there, I was like, cool, whatever, this is fine. <laughs> this, I can put up with this, this is my last day. Um, so if that advice has ever not worked for you, it's probably because you're not applying it correctly to live each day as if you're last. Don't savor, let that shit go, let it roll off your back. Um, that's my freestyle and I'm sticking to it. I hope that you're having a really great day, night, weekend, wherever you are. Yeah, take any and all pressure off of yourself to make this moment sweeter than it might be right now. It will not be this way for long, I promise you. Whether it's really good or whether it's really bad, just let it be what it is. If you would like to keep up with me on the regs, you have a few different options. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel and we can say hi every Monday and Friday. You can also join my email list to uh, amyoungcoaching.com. That's my website for my work that I do with clients. Is, is someone, there's like a John Deere outside suddenly or something. Um, but yeah, most importantly, just live your life and stop stressing. <laughs> Quick and dirty advice. And until next time, I'll see ya.